congratulations on the purchase of your new signal booster. Let's get everything set up. We've broken this down into the different steps you'll take when doing an installation. So if you want to jump to a different section or rewatch one, click right here at any time. Before you do anything else, what you want to do is find the areas where you're going to install the different components. You can make a signal map of your house inside and outside. This will help you know where the strongest signal is outside of the house and where the weakest signal is inside of the house. You can do this using the bars on your phone, but it's not very accurate. We'd highly recommend putting your phone into test mode for a precise reading. It's really easy to do. On an iPhone, dial star 3001 pound 12345 pound star, and then press the call button. You have to drag down from the top of your screen, but your signal strength will now be displayed in the top left of your screen. On an Android device, go to settings, about device, and status. Your signal reading will be displayed right here. The signal strength will always be displayed as a negative number. The closer that number gets to zero, the better it is. For example, a negative 120 is unusable signal, while a negative 40 is about as good as you can get. With your phone in test mode, walk around the outside of your house and find the side of your house that has the strongest signal. You'll want to install the outside antenna on that side of the house. Then come inside the house and walk around and find the area of weakest signal. This is most likely where you're going to want to put the inside antenna. Also, consider the coverage area provided by your inside antenna when choosing where to place it. A desktop antenna covers a home office area or a couple rooms, while a panel antenna can easily cover 75 feet or more based on the outside signal strength. Now, I mention this because this is important when factoring how much coverage area you'll get inside. The stronger the signal outside of your building, the more we can boost it and the more coverage area you'll get inside. The final step is choosing where to install your signal booster. You can do this about anywhere. You can hide it behind a piece of furniture, or you can install it in a closet, for example. Just make sure that it has adequate ventilation. Also, make sure that it's within reach of your two antenna cables. We include plenty of cable, but if the distance between one of your antennas and the booster is too far, you can always connect two lengths of cable together with the supplied barrel connector. You'll also want your booster within reach of a power outlet. All right, so now that you know where everything's gonna be installed, let's get to work. Click here when you're ready to move on to the next section.